friends, welcome to Mithi's Kitchen. Again, we are making today cheese paratha. And for the cheese paratha, I have ingredients like a two cup of cheese. It's really shredded cheese, you know, Mexican cheese. It is very nice cheddar cheese. Also, I have three cup of dough and for some cilantro and this one is paprika paprika this is spanish paprika is slightly spicy but we like spicy so we are using that one and also i have here um, cilantro and remember one thing the uh, cheese always have very much salt in it so we are just adding couple pinch of salt and this one is red chili pepper with some flags and this one is all italian herbs so that's really makes very tasty and i really like it and also my family so i love to make it this one and it will be really great taste so you can see that all we have to mix that very well and if you can find this spices Italian seasoning and also the paprika you can get that one it's really very nice flavor and cheese goes with the pepper you know any kind of like a pepper red pepper flakes or I like sometimes to use little bit green chili paste too because that one brings really great taste. So at this moment I will move this one and I'll put it my stove on the medium heat and we can start our paratha. Whatever size you like it you can make it. I like to keep it like a medium you know not much big and not much small because you have to make it large and also I have made some advanced dough so we don't have to waste our time to make dough and do all things so now at this point we will add some cheese in that However you like it, you can make it. The cheese quantity is, depends on you. Sometimes some people like more, sometimes less. But, uh, you know, like occasionally we do eat things. So, I don't think so anything goes wrong with that one. So, at this point, what we will do, we will make it paratha like with the hands and keep it like this try to roll it little bit easy because you know that every time when we put stuffing inside it has to be little bit easy So now you can see that our pan is enough hot so we will start that and while it's cooking that I'm making ready second one so friends I have turned other side and I apply hickey on that And 
and we don't have to make it too hard on each side you can see that at this point I will add So friends, you can see that one side it roasts very well and now we are doing one other side. And it's really very crispy. And I have used that this one is whole wheat flour because whole wheat is more tasty and healthy too because all-purpose flour is okay too, but uh, that one is quite tasty too, but uh, all wheat is health-wise, we consider very good to use it. So you can see that, that one side turned very well, and also this is the second side too. You can see that our paratha got very good fluffy. And at this point, I will take it out because I do not like to just too much make it hard, you know, so I like to use that way. And also now, about two minutes, this is the second one is ready. you can see that our paratha is getting very good fluffy so at this moment I will turn other side and it's really very tasty and easy recipes because you know sometimes like after work I feel like to eat something so this is really very easy and also healthy too like uh, all the time we don't eat lot of cheese and things like that because of the health reason so so friends now you can see that our paratha is ready like in minutes you know and also i like to give you one good tip about this one you can eat with like a, a cilantro chutney you know like a dhana coriander leaves or mint chutney or mango chutney anything you like it with this and I like to eat with something like sweet and sour so I use always my mango chutney so I hope you enjoy these recipes and please let me know how it turns with you so I will be really happy to read your comments and I'll be back again with another simple recipes until then have a blessed day